Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see the packet tracer activity. Who hears the broadcast? We will go through the objectives of this packet tracer activity. In part 1, observe broadcast traffic in a VLAN implementation. In part 2, complete or review questions. Also, we will see the scenario. In this activity, a 24 port catalyst 2960 switch is fully populated. All ports are in use. You will observe broadcast traffic in a VLAN implementation and answer some reflection questions. We will come to part 1. Observe broadcast traffic in a VLAN implementation. Step 1. Use ping to generate traffic. Click PC0 and click the desktop tab, command prompt, enter the ping 192.168.1.8 command. The ping should succeed. Coming to a PC0. Desktop, command prompt, here we are going to give ping to this address and here we can see we are getting the replay. Here we ping from this PC0 to this PC7. Uh, here we can see that address. Here we can see 192.168.1.8. So we able to ping from this PC0 to PC7. Unlike a LAN, a VLAN is a broadcast domain created by switches. Using packet tracer simulation mode, ping the end devices within their own VLAN. Based on your observation, answer the questions in step 2. Coming to our topology, here we can see, uh, here we have a 3 VLAN, that is VLAN 10, VLAN 20 and VLAN 30. So when we communicate uh, from the same VLAN, uh, the ping will be successful. Uh, from uh, all these PCs, if we ping to uh, any uh, PCs in this VLAN, the ping will be successful or even VLAN 10 or even VLAN 30. Now we will come to step 2. Generate and examine broadcast traffic. Uh, switch to simulation mode. Uh, click edit filters in the simulation panel. Uncheck the show all bar none checkbox. Check the ICMP checkbox. Then click the Add Complex PDU tool. This is the Open Envelope icon on the right toolbar. Right, so we will do this. Coming to our topology, here we can see the modes. Now it's in real time, so we will move to uh, simulation mode. And uh, here we are going to click on uh, this uh, Show All or None. Here we can see that. Right, so now we will give edit filters and here we will select only ICMP right here we can see that even list filters visible events only ICMP now we will uh, click on this uh, here we can see that add complex PDU we are going to click on this right coming to D float the mouse cursor over the topology and the pointer changes to an envelope with a plus sign yes here we can see that right click PC 0 to serve uh, as the source for this test message and the and uh, the create complex PDU dialog window opens enter the following values destination IP address we have to give 255.255.255.255 this is the broadcast address then the sequence number one, then uh, one short time zero. Also, uh, within the PDU settings, the default for a select application is pink. What are at least uh, three other applications available for use? Right, so we will uh, see all these. Coming to our PC3, we are going to click on this. And here we can see our uh, create complex uh, PDU. Here we are going to give our destination IP address 255.255.255.255 and here we can see sequence number we are going to give a specified one also here we can see uh, one short time here we are going to give a zero also here we can see a select application uh, so by default it's selected pink and uh, here we can see other uh, application like DNS, uh, FTP, HTTP, HTTPS, SMTP, SSH, etc. Next is uh, click create PDU. Uh, 
Now this test broadcast packet now appears in the simulation panel event list. It also appears in the PDU list window. Uh, it is the first PDU for scenario 0. Right, we are going to click on create PDU. And here we can see that. Also we can see in the event list. Next click capture or forward twice. What happened to the packet? Right, so we will do that. Capture or forward. And again we are going to click capture or forward. Yes, here we have seen uh, this uh, packet uh, is uh, sent to this uh, S1 from this PC0 and we can see uh, it broadcasted to all other PCs in this uh, uh, VLAN 30 that is in the same VLAN except this uh, PC0 who is the center. Coming to it, repeat uh, this process for uh, PC8 and PC16. Right, so here is our PC8. So before that we will uh, give uh, new here we'll go to pc8 before that we have to get this a uh, complex pdu and coming to pc8 and we are going to create the complex pdu here uh, select application by default a uh, ping then a destination ip address 255.255.255.255 also we have to give the sequence number one and one short time zero here we are going to create this PDU. Here we can see that. Capture or forward, it goes to S1. Capture or forward, here we can see it goes to all the NG devices in the same VLAN, that is VLAN 10. And here we can see that in the event list. Now we will do it uh, in this uh, PC16. New. We will select this uh, add complex PDU and uh, coming to PC16, create a complex PDU, select application by default uh, ping, uh, destination IP address uh, 255.255.255.255, sequence number 1, also one short time, 0 seconds, and here we are going to create PDU, here we can see. PC16 ICMP packet. I'm going to click capture or forward. It goes to S1. Capture or forward. Here we can see it's broadcasted to the same VLAN that is your VLAN 20 uh, except uh, to this uh, center PC16. Now we will come to part 2 complete review questions. In that first one, if a PC in VLAN 10 sends a broadcast message, which devices uh, receive it? Obviously, uh, when we send a broadcast uh, in this VLAN 10, all the PCs in this uh, VLAN will uh, receive that broadcast message, maybe except that uh, center PC. Uh, that is, uh, here we have seen, uh, previously we have seen, uh, we done from this uh, PC8. Right, coming to 2. If a PC in VLAN 20 sends a broadcast message, devices receive it. Obviously, all the PCs uh, in this uh, VLAN 20. If a PC in VLAN 30 sends a broadcast message, devices receive it. Obviously, all the PCs in this VLAN 30. Coming to the fourth question. Uh, what happens to a frame sent from a PC in VLAN 10 to a PC in VLAN 30? Right, we will check that with the help of a, a simulation mode. We are going to send a PDU from PC 0 to PC uh, 8. And uh, here itself, we can see it shows cross. Uh, that means it's dropped. I'm going to give a capture or forward. Here we can see it's in progress. Here we can see uh, it's failed. That means uh, that um, I mean that frame uh, will be dropped because of this PC. So that is PC0 and PC8 are in a different VLAN. Uh, we can see this PC0 is VLAN 30 and this uh, PC8 is in uh, VLAN 10. Coming to the fifth question, uh, which ports on the switch light up if a PC connected to port 11 sends a unicast message to a PC connected to port 13, right? So we should know this uh, uh, port 11 and port uh, 13 uh, are connected to which VLAN. So we have to come to this S1 and we will cross check that. Enable, here we have 
show vlan brief command and we will verify these ports that is a port 11 and uh, port 13 here we can see that the vlan uh, 20 uh, students will zoom it right so here we can see uh, the interface fast third zero slash 11 and uh, fast third zero slash 13 are in the same vlan uh, that is vlan 20 uh, named students so obviously these ports i mean this uh, port number 11 and 13 will light up coming to the sixth question uh, which ports on the switch light if a pc connected to port 2 sends a unicast message to a pc connected to port 23 yes coming to our uh, uh, show vlan brief uh, here we can see those ports uh, first third zero slash two here we can see it's in uh, uh, vlan 30 named uh, guest and uh, we have to check for uh, port 23 here we can see that uh, which is in uh, VLAN 10 faculty. So these two ports, I mean this uh, port number uh, 2 and port number uh, 23 are in different VLAN. So obviously what happens, so uh, uh, here the packet will be dropped. Coming to the seventh question, in terms of ports, what are the collision domains on the switch? Right, so uh, if you consider our topology, uh, S1, uh, here all the 24 ports are connected. So we have a 24 uh, collision domain. That means each port is its own collision domain. Coming to the 8th, in terms of ports, so what are the broadcast domain on the switch? Yes, it uh, depends on the number of VLANs. So according to our topology, here we have 3 VLAN, that is VLAN 10, VLAN 20 and VLAN 30. So each VLAN is its own broadcast, so we have uh, uh, 3 uh, broadcast domain here. Well, that's all in this packet tracer activity. Uh, who hears the broadcast? Friends, if you have any doubt in this packet tracer activity, please comment below. Also, if you like my video, give a thumb and don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you will get latest uploading video info into our gmail thank you